Jessica LaFond is model responsible for Ram Trucks at Chrysler. That's their internal way of saying she is the chief engineer. I recently asked her to give me one of those aha moments that really helped her in her career and to talk about the Chrysler Engineering Institute, a program within Chrysler to train technical people for the company. And I want to thank Automotive Next at Inforum for helping to arrange this interview and to Chrysler for sponsoring it. Let's go to that interview right now. Jessica, give me an example of an aha moment in your career where things really clicked and you understood, especially as a woman, of how to move forward in the automotive industry. Okay, well, an aha moment for me was, occurred when I was about 10 years into my career. So when I had first started out, you're in a heavy male-dominated society and learning how to get along. How do you function differently from an academic standpoint versus in the work world? And one of the pieces of advice I received about 10 years into my career was from another woman colleague who probably had about 25 years of experience at that time. And she sat me down once after one of these intense meetings at, at work where you're arguing your point back and forth and pulled me aside and helped me understand the difference between how you need to function as a female in a male-dominated society versus maybe how men are able to function. So what'd she tell you? What she told me was, keep in mind when you're in these heavy, intense conversations and trying to figure out the right way to go, that in men, when you're having a discussion from one man to another, oftentimes the conversation can get quite heated and nobody interprets it in any negative form. Guys are used to arguing. Yeah, it's, it's more culturally acceptable. Normal, not a big deal. When, and even when women interact with men, when those arguments can occur, nothing is necessarily interpreted negatively. But when another woman, one woman to another woman, start to have that type of a heated argument or cat discussion. Cat fight, right? It, 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 everybody else. interprets it as a cat fight. Yes, then, huh? and what you've really got to become aware of, or at least this was her advice to me, which, which I really took to heart, was be cognizant of the fact that others will interpret it differently than perhaps you or the other person you're talking to even mean it to be. So really watch and become cognizant of that environment and adjust your behavior. So if, if you need to have that discussion, tone it down, sit back, relax, slow it down if you need to, or frankly, if you can't figure out a way to, to get that point across, know that it's something you probably should just discuss later. Because the environment that you're in will interpret and label you, in, at least at this time. Perhaps in the future that may go away, but just be very much aware of it. Great advice. Also, another thing I want to ask you about is the Chrysler Institute of Engineering. Tell me a little bit about this, because I've never heard of this program, and even though it goes way back, right? Yep, actually, the Chrysler Institute of Engineering started in 1931, and it's a program that began at Chrysler when they hired a select number of students who were just finishing their undergraduate degree. And they were brought into the Chrysler Corporation at the time to pursue their master's degree in engineering, as well as to complete a 30-month rotation. Um, the heritage of this program lives on today. Actually, back then, um, the Chrysler um, Corporation was actually able to issue a master's degree in engineering. So the students actually got a degree at the company. Today, the intent's pretty much the same. You get a master's degree at night um, while you're working through a 30-month rotation. So I was hired into this program. It, it, it's actually part, it boils down to about three different segments. The first segment of the program is designed to help an, a young engineer get acclimated into what it takes to make a car. So we take them through uh, really how breaking down a vehicle, going to our service tech, technical center, learning how to take a car apart, going to our assembly plants, learning how they are actually put together where the miracle occurs. Um, and then also learning all the details of all the testing required at our proving grounds. So what are all the safety specifications? How are all those tests run? Which is actually a huge step and leap from what you learn academically. So how does that really come to pass? And then the next two phases of the program are all about rotations. So people move around in four month increments and take structured rotations, whether at the assembly plant, through body engineering, aerothermal. It's, you have a few different selections to make. And then you can even adventure out. So whether it's product design and um, product design office, so working with the early concepts, or even product planning, what features go into a car. So a great way to learn a whole lot about the company. Yeah, learn a lot about the company, learn a lot about what makes you click. Because just because you've liked something academically, what you're going to aspire to in the work world, yeah, it takes a little while to figure out. You probably don't know that the first day out. Um, and the other thing is to make those connections. So a large network is developed over a short period of time to make a big company feel small. 
Jessica, thanks so much for sharing that with us. Thank you. It's nice talking to you today. That aha moment is brought to you by Chrysler Group, LLC. For career opportunities, please visit www.chryslercareers.com.